All right. Uh, new game. Oh, damn. Okay. Um, oh, luck, perception. Intelligence? I have 31. Okay. Interesting. Round that out. Oh, wait, I see. Pilot, soldier, adventurer. Interesting. Energy regenerate, energy, ship speed, thruster fuel, warp speed. I mean, we can just go for like an all rounder. background okay pirate you join the x world's pirate organization to escape the monotony of life in the small commune you grew up in captain freelancer mercenary explorer 10% greater accuracy for probe scans. Merchant. I mean, I feel like we should just do freelancer, right? Freelancer or merchant, because I like doing trade shit. What do you think? Freelancer or merchant? Let's do Freelancer. Uh, okay. Morphs? Oh my god. Looked like a combat heavy game. I think you can like choose to do certain like contracts kind of thing. All face paint and shite. Oh, damn. Some Mike Tyson ass stuff. I don't know. Preset skins. Oh, that's gaunt. This guy looks rough. Skin details. Scars. Ooh. Let's give him a nice juicy scar. A nice juicy scar. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. I like this one, though, I think. Preset eyes. Blind eye. This is pretty intense for... What I thought this was going to be, to be honest. Oh my goodness. Fly away. <laughs> I 
Your definition. Oh, it's like your lobe. Some big ass ears. Yeah. I can hear shit from so far away. Can I change his hair? Okay. Let's find a good haircut for our gentleman. Ooh, that looks... It's a nice comb-over job. Whoa. Okay. Can I change... I just want to be able to see it a little bit better. What? Why did it change colors? Okay, not a ton of hair options, but uh, this one's not the worst. Do dark roots and pink tips. Hell yeah. Name. Erp. Start. Let's go. Let's do this. Am I out of coffee? Oh, God. Okay. Whoa. It's about time you woke up. The burden of doing nothing in the game must take a toll on you. Come see me at once. I'm having a bad luck with jumping through the maps today. Sir? Why do I sound like I got a pocket full of bottle caps? Talk with Arabelle in Eisner City. Okay. Oh, she's over there. I see. system works all right come on jangles get up there press f to interact for moons when do you plan on paying my rent? As soon as I can. There aren't any good prospects right now. I promise to, I'll pay a full year's rent when a decent bounty comes up. I will as soon as I get the money. Why don't you consider doing more rookie work? Our connector always has many freelance jobs available. When was the last time you spoke to him? You have no sound? Be quiet and listen to me for once in your life. You know how much I love you and how much respect I have for your father. I can't good conscience allow you to continue wasting away your life like this. Did they use AI voice? I've let to things read this slide stuff? for far too long. 
It's about time that you started carrying your own weight around here, so I need you to do something for me. You will go and get a oh. freelance job from Connector. Okay. Promise, Good yes, luck. I promise. You're creepy, lady. Not you, boy. You're okay. You're not creepy. What is this tattooing ass place? Oh, there's an invisible wall there. Alright, let's go get a freelance. Do you have any interesting jobs I can do? Oh, God. As a matter of oh. fact. I was looking for a pilot to take an old woman to the Fairand station. Uh, okay. Well, there is this one combat mission, but they specifically requested a minimum of SX for class ship. Yes, the old woman transporting. Okay. Let's take the transport great. thing. Give me a second to set it up. Okay, great. Give me a second to set it up. Oh. Okay. Okay. It looks like Lara grabbed that mission while we were talking. Okay, I'm going to stick my neck out a little for old time's sake. But if anyone asks, just say you made a fault. Don't make me regret this. Good luck. Wait, did I just take the combat mission? That's not good. That's not good. This is going to end poorly. I mean, the running and controls is better than Gears of War. Hey, he got in. It just came back on its own. Mexican internet. Don't blame the internet. Oh shit, can I steal that shit? What are you doing? Your feet are in the ground. This is my ship, huh? Looks pretty cool. Okay, how do I... Hello? Press F to interact with ship. Oh. I'm just in it now. Okay. Take off R. Landing gear retracted. Ah! <laughs> Leave planet. Do I have like a throttle? and hold thrusters. All right. I suppose if you have to do a loading screen, that's to not start bad. Walk. First, open the scanner interface. Here you can see the locations to walk. Then set a target. Scanner interface. Where am I supposed to be going? Select mining station? Okay.
Lock on warp target with middle mouse button. What? Middle mouse button. Is that not the scroll wheel? Inputs. Keyboard and mouse. This is obviously not keyboard and mouse controls, people. Oh, there we go. Um, toggle landing gear, switch modes. I don't see anything that is mapped to the middle mouse button. Ship perk free look camera. Cycled targets. Scanner. Toggle thrusters. Oh, interesting. Toggle warp drive? What the heck is going on? Okay. Warp drive online. Oh, now I have a thing that says mining station. Press and hold left ship to charge. Calibration module activated. Oh, shit. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thrust Oh, shit. Okay. That's pretty cool. Now I can let go. Are you here on scout mission? I specifically requested those with ships above SX for. Don't get me wrong, but I'm not sure you can complete this task with this floating junk. Don't rush. Let's make sure the ship is in good condition first, shall we? Sure. Let's start. Can you move right and left? Good. Let's see your hover thrusts. Nice. Now give me some rolls. Whee. Now let's see if your turbo thrusters are in good shape. Not bad. Finally, let's try dodge moves. Your engine seems stable. Let's check your combat systems. Let's activate your weapons. I'm sending you a target with no shield, so you can easily destroy this target with your turrets. Now activate your turrets weapon group. Uh, activate one with one. Okay. Beautiful. Now let's try a target with shield. Activate your laser weapons. Not bad, but it is easy to hit stationary points. For dynamic targets, you should first lock it. Now lock the target I sent. Left mouse button. Oh, 
Oh my god. Good. Since you're using the fighter class ship, we need to check the pursuit system as well. Let's try it now. Target shield is down. Hey. You are good to go. I guess you are the pilot who took the job. We have been seeing unusual activity in this asteroid field for a while. A night and a five scout ships patrolling the area. We want you to take care of them. Oh, I'll take care of them. Scout ships? I thought he said scout ships. Let's do this. So middle mouse button to lock on, then right mouse button to engage pursuit mode. Oh my god. Scout ships. We need to find out why they're here. Give me a second. There's a station up ahead that was destroyed by an asteroid and packed. I see a movement there. We okay. need to find out, but they're hiding there. Would you sneak up there and check it out? Sneaking. Sneaky, sneaky. Well, that does not look good. Oh, I don't believe it. They set up a secret base here. I don't believe it. Watch out. They shouldn't notice you. Or they can destroy everything, including you. Try to get close. You just told me not to. Watch out! The setup turns around. I see your ship as a cloak park. Use it now! Shield recharging. Cloak? Good. Now move slowly and don't fire any weapon. Or they can locate you. We have to get into that building, but you can't get there with your ship. I know it's dangerous, but you have to leave the ship and neutralize those pirates. I will give you extra reward for that. I found a blind spot for your ship. You should leave your ship there and get off. The cloaking is cool. The J 
eject from ship. Okay. I see you don't have any weapons on you. Let's find you some firearms. Give me a second. I don't have a second. I found some weapons and ammunition there. Go and equip them before the encounter. Okay, this is pretty cool. Good. Now go to that platform and neutralize the pirates. Gravity boots.
You did a hey. great job. Come to Axel. Your rewards are waiting for you. Weapons online. The music loop is a little much. It's a little much. I like the menus. I don't like these menus. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to try to figure that out after. Look out! I'm sorry. I'm just pressing buttons, trying to learn my new ship. Ship. Probes? Oh. Toggle landing gear with the N key. When the oh, landing gear deployed. Wait, where are you trying to get me to land? Oi! Oh! Hello. Okay, stop moving. Landing gear retracted. <laughs> Landing gear deployed. Oh. Okay. How do I use my cool sword, though? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Yo! I mean, this in and out of ship thing is kind of cool. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, put your gun away, dude. Explore the unknown. 
talk with Axa. Ooh, what's this? Why does it say Axa's outside? Oh. Saw it. Great job out there. Now any criminal will have to think twice before attempting to steal from us. I'm going to transfer the money to your account. Get paid. This old thing. It's an old piece of junk I found in the remnants of an old battlefield. Come to think of it, it was right in this system on the moon 189 to 1. It turned out to be useless, though. I couldn't detect any signs of activity in it. Why do you ask? Why are you so interested in it? It must be of some sentimental value. Here's a counteroffer. How about you take the head, and I keep the money I was going to pay you? Hell no. I've already mentioned where I found it. As for more parts, I could find none. But then again, I didn't stick around there too long. It's not exactly the safest of places. But if you want to risk going there, be my guest. I'd added the location to your scanner. Just be aware, though. I'm not sure if you've ever been to an old battlefield. Those pla Well, you're in luck. I just happen to be in a good mood today. It just so happens that I need to collect some things from that area. If you clear the area of any undesirables, I'll gather the drone parts for you. While I take care of my own business. Okay. Great. Send me a signal when the area is cleared. Good luck. Did I just give up all my money for a robot head? That I don't even know if I want? Who's this scary white dude? Also, why is there no ambient sound in this space station? I'm behind the fence. What are you going to do about it? Debris. Oops. Okay. Where am I supposed to be going? Go to the old war debris. Debris. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thrust in I mean, to be this fair, this place is more crowded than I expected. It's really not the worst. These salvagers, they don't warmly welcome you to do work in their area. That's why you should get rid of those salvagers first. Weapons online.
caught in the debris. Take that. Oh wait, that's one more. That's one more. Get him. Target destroyed. Guard Axel while he finds the robot's missing parts. Where you at, buddy boy? I'm coming in. Oh. Oh, baby. Okay, let's start. Interesting. I'm getting signal from the hidden part. I think it's trying to redirect us to other parts. Right. I already found the first part. I think it's a leg. Okay. I keep forgetting to use my missiles, too. We have company. Where? Oh my god. That was so drastic. Targeting thing is gone. Why? Because I'm 
my shield is recharging. I found another one. Okay. Okay. You are so dead. Oh, it is not good. That, that is not can. good. I'll find the last part in a couple minutes. harder to do this. Oh god. Where's my lost ship? I got you, you son of a bitch. You think so? Let's see. Civilian ships leave this area. Now. More capital ships. What do we get into? We should get involved. Okay, what is pulling me in random direction? Okay, I got the last part. Let's leave this place as soon as possible. Target destroyed. Let's warp away. someone who specializes in mechanics. A more than named Snan. He was working at Sonic Station in the Zonix Air system. Okay. Zo Good luck to you. Exit oh. out. Okay. In the Zonatar system? Go to the Zonatar system via Stargate and Dock. Okay. So I have to go to the Stargate. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster. I like the traveling. The ship combat's okay. Everything just feels like a really decent try so far except for the voice the AI voice thing gets me every time stuck. 
Stargates, you must first have a registered route. For this, first, open the Galaxy Atlas. Select a system and press set route. Ask permission to use the Stargate. Okay. Um, so I already have a route planned, right? Go to signals, Stargate, jump to Please next route. Please approach to the jump point to start jump process. That's fun. It looks like it's going to grind my ship right up, though. Please proceed through the gate in the path reserved for you. There's target 0307, 31,000. Track north. Have a nice day, it says. Where did he say I need to go? Sonax Station. Sonax Station. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thrust ahead. One thing I will say is that after playing like some so semi-serious um, space simulators, it really, I really want all of this HUD stuff to be on the ship when I'm in the cockpit view. I should be able to see like, I should be able to see like my weapons groups, my my energy, my abilities. I want it to be all be on the actual HUD. Okay, how do I signals? Sonic station docking request. Docking request granted. In order to use station services, please dock to the port reserved for you in the next minute. So it's got a little bit of Elite Dangerous. It's trying. Landing gear deployed. It's really trying. Oh, services. Oh. Torpedoes. Oh, that's a horrible effect. When you like hover over an item and it goes this like 3D thing. He's just gonna let me walk in there armed to the teeth. Elevators landing pod. What the fuck is that noise? Components? Oh. Jesus. 
Damage booster. There's so much going on right now. Oh. Laser pistol. I'm assuming the green one's the one I've got. Yeah. Railgun, shotguns, pulse charger, oh, big old hammer. Man, shit's, I thought I had a lot of money. Shit's expensive. Sounds like shit is exploding outside, guys. Talk with Smen. Smegma. Services? The launch ship for the Terrax system will leave today at 44 zero. The next flight will be... Okay, that's the same menu as the one outside. Passengers going to the Terrax system can be requested to go to the domestic space station team. Was well, that guy from Naruto with the big peanut on his back? It's a space peanut. Is this a phone? Hello? I mean, it's like almost really cool. And I think that's okay. Okay. Smen! How can I help? Of course, that's what I do for a living. Let me see the pieces. Oh, damn. Now that's a beautiful thing. It's been decades since I've seen a similar model. It must be more than 50 years old. Fascinating. Yes, I can do that, but it will cost you both time and money. Okay, if I should be repairing this guy, it will cost you something for sure. You need to understand that it's pretty hard to get the right spare parts, but I fear that without those, I won't be able to get him back to life. Now it depends on you. I could do that for you, but it will cost you a significant amount of TY, and it will take at least two hours, but I've got a proposal for you. Instead of paying me, you could do a small job for me, while I'm putting your robot back together. Otherwise, just pay me While I'm putting your robot and come back later. Uh, what's the job? I, I, I have not been able to reach a friend for a while who has been living on planet Zumvars. Yo, my robot I want friend you to disappeared. Check out for me. Great. I'm adding the location of the place where he lived to his scanner. Okay. Thanks, Smeg. Does it say turrets? Those are where all the cool kids hang out. This guy's got like a cape? Oh, he's wearing the same one. Someone's gotta go home and change. That is the same. Oh, wait, can I sell anything? No. 
Wait, how do I get? The final checks are being completed, and the captain will order for the doors of the spacecraft to close in approximately five minutes' time. I repeat, this is the final boarding crew. Thank you. It's a little confusing to get back, but we're okay. I could not even begin to tell you what landing port I'm on. Hello? All right, I came downstairs. Hey. I mean, there's like just enough where it feels like a living, breathing world a bit. I promise that if like Starfield is 50% of this game, it's going to be fantastic. Where am I going? Sunvars, right? Landing gear retracted. Whoa. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thrust to That jingle, jingle, jingle. to Corin's lab. Oh, is it in signals maybe? Nope. Pit of Bon Gore. The Lear Outpost. To start a raid on a system, open the scanner interface and press toggle raid mode. What? Add your generals to the raid. Select the general from the available for deployment list. To recall a general, press and hold the warp away button in the in raid panel. To position generals within the system, click on the general and then select the desired location to send them. Once ready, select the raid goal, confirm it, and start the raid. Yo, how does this raid, game have so much in it? In the, scanner interface. the level and number of ships in the system depend on the system level and security level. Use this to capture a system but ensure that there are no other stations belonging to a different faction in the system. If there are, conduct an operation on the station first, and then capture the remaining defenders in the system. What? You can send generals to different locations during the raid runtime. When all buildings are captured, the system is yours. The goal of plunder raids is to loot trade ships in the system. Your generals will actively go to the location of the trade ships and loot them. The system security.
Why can't I find what Cor where Koran's lab is though? Scanner. Catcher launched. No signal found in the system. Not letting me stop. Stop. Oh. Something wrong. Check Coram's lab. Don't look good I for your boy. It. These are Corrin's men, and I'm sure they know you're here. You don't stand a chance against the mercenaries of Corrin's with that equipment of yours. You need better equipment. I know why Corrin hides his stash. Let me show you. What's wrong with my equipment? What? I'm seeing drop ships approaching the area. Get ready. How do I level up? I'm level three. Where'd that other guy go? Oh, is it there?
Goran is not here. I'm sure they took him down to the research center in the cave. I know I'm asking too much, but would you go to the cave by elevator and check it out? Sure. The purple. Armor ninety five. Character energy, damage resistance, damage absorbed. Spicy. Okay, I think I have to audio. The ambience is fine. The music needs to go way down. The effects could go quite a bit down. Music type hip hop. Let's go. Let's go. It's just like so close to being really, oh, really good. Hello? Oh, oh my God. Hard. Also, the fact that there's no crouch button kills me. I mean, like, this is really cool coming down into this cave and I wonder if there's any, like, loot boxes around. This weird spiritual thing. something is there anything up here I swear I keep hearing footprints I can't jump that high. Lame. Oh, I'm stuck. No scope. Yes. Dead. How? I don't know. He's dead. Damn it. I told him not to mess with Quirk. Wait a second. Do you see any AT documentation around? It should be in a small mechanical box. Damn. It must not fall into Quinn's hands. Fortunately, we had a tracking device attached to the AT document. Just wait a sec. I know I'm asking a lot from you, but Quran stole the AT document and is about to leave the atmosphere. You must catch him immediately. According to my screen, 
There's a cargo ship directly overhead. The AT document must be in a container on that ship. Please don't let them escape. I gotta go check out what's in that weird other cave. Weird. The laser pistol's like a charged up shot. Oh, God damn. Hello? Oh. Got him. Okay, the laser pistol's not that fun, but... Okay, what were you guys hiding? <laughs> Is there really nothing in here? Why would you even have this room full of dudes? Oh, there's another room. I mean, I'd be terrified if I saw me fucking hopping around down the tunnel. Oh my god. Came out of nowhere. Literally. Okay, we almost died. Was it all for nothing? Is there really nothing in here? Okay. 
I just murdered a bunch of dudes for nothing. Sorry guys. My bad. I don't understand this level up system at all. I just keep putting shit into the spots. Can I wear this suit now? Hell yeah. Oh, it looks the exact same. Lame. I thought it was going to be a cool new one. Did my guy just crouch? Lore? What? Oh my god, it's alt? Alt is the crouch button. We figured it out, guys. Figured it out. Ugh. Oh, come on, I could fit under that. Is he? There he is. Oh. Come on. There we go. This is not the hip hop I was promised. Target shield to death. Damn, the cargo ship is accelerating. If it leaves the atmosphere, we lose it. Damage its engine now. Look, it can't go 
anywhere. Now get off this ship. Get on top of the cargo ship to check the containers one by one. I'm sure it's in one of them. On planets with gravity below 14.2 ms squared, you can use the space suit as a jetpack. For this, eject from your ship. When you have a surface to land on, that you takes can the in your jetpack with they the They have drones. Watch out! Ow! No! It is not in here! I can't shoot when I'm floating in the air? Oh god. Please keep looking. Here it is. Please oh. bring it to me at ah. any cost. We can't let Warren get those. Wait a second. We can't leave any evidence behind. Oh. According to my screen, the middle container carries gas canisters. With the help, we can destroy the ship. Go and shoot the gas tanks until they catch fire. Be careful. If you shoot more than necessary, it will explode while you're on it. Spicy. Oh god, don't press that. I want you to reload. I probably shouldn't be in here, in here, right? Who the fuck's shooting at me? Okay, that's enough! Get out of there and get on your ship! Now! I mean, that's pretty... That's I can't thank you enough. That's pretty damn He's cool. He's giving me 80 dockets. And I just promised, your robot is about to be repaired. That's pretty fun. Is it janky? Yes. Is it a lot of stupid fun? Uh, yeah. Do I mind? No. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. Let's go hand this shit in. Contact the station, request docking. In order to use station services, please dock to the port reserved for you in the next minute. Landing gear deployed. Okay. Wait, I got a bunch of new stuff, didn't I? This one is 213 damage. 331? Damn. Okay, I don't like this pistol. 
assault rifle's fine. I definitely like the sniper. It's just like really awkward. Criminal. Uh. I wish there was an auto run button. Inputs. Ship. I don't want ship. Toggle photo mode. God damn, I didn't know there was a photo mode. Hot damn. I wonder what that looks like in the ship. Where's my seaman friend? Filter. Damn. Sounds like they just recorded their office for like a few weeks and just put it in the as the ambient noise. I can't believe what you just did there. You were great. No, as you promised, were great. I repaired your robot. However, Actually, you didn't do anything. the drive was operational. This means that only the head of the robot was working. But after all you've done for me, I didn't want to settle for that. I found a very clean robot from the junkyard and uploaded your robot's speed drive to a newer model droid. As a matter of fact, you will have a new generation multifunctional droid with the brain of your old robot. These SR11 models are very athletic. Able to fight and even... You know what I mean? Ah, I almost forgot. I collected the ship weapons. And thanks again. Nice. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Talk with... Oh. This exoskeleton... It is different. It's you. I was an old colleague of your father's. I had promised him I would watch over you and thought I had failed him. But here you stand before me. It's understandable you don't remember me. After all, you were just a baby when we parted ways. My designation was three with commander of the WRA. For that, I need to start from the beginning. Cinematic, it says. Which brings us to today. Wow, I don't even get to see the beginning. Now the responsibility falls onto you to continue what your father started. That is to unite and liberate the entire human race. So let me get this straight. Are you looking for a new leader for your terrorist organization? Well, forget it. Your father was no terrorist. He was a great resistance leader. The true terrorists are the current leaders of this galaxy. I mean, eat the rich, you know what I'm saying? Do you call living in secrecy freedom? I know how the council of these leaders works. If they were ever to discover your cities, they would slaughter all the earth. Hey kid, I fixed your robot. So hey tell kid, me, save is humanity. Is this really how you want to live? In fear? 
All I know is that we're doing just fine so far, and I don't want to th stir things up. At this time, I see that it is pointless to try to convince you. You said you're a freelance pilot, correct? Then I have a job for you. How will you give my I will reward? I'll give your father's armor. Oh. He's priceless. Your father's former second in command, Anchor. He is in prison. I Pri want you prison. to break him out. It says prison. Of course. I am a man of many... Correction. A woman of many plans now, I suppose. You'll need to travel to the planet Zeda. Specifically the prison district. Great. Let's... Nirax, a world organization leader, has devised a prison rape plan. We will need to join this raid and extract Anchor before the prison is destroyed. What is the date today? Hmm. We are still 50 moons away, but I can move up the schedule. No issues there. Every worldly organization is loyal, and will follow your father's and Admiral's orders. We have plenty of time should you need it. I would recommend you use this free time wisely. There are various guilds throughout the galaxy that you can join. By becoming a member, you can gain experience and reap the unique benefits offered by each guild. Well, there damn. is a guild section in the main interface. There you can find the location of the closest branch of each guild. I would suggest Who's joining my the Freelancers Guild first. The types of missions they offer will enhance your piloting skills, and this will in turn allow you to equip higher tier upgrades. The choice is of course yours to make. If you don't mind, I would like to join your crew. As a co-pilot, I bring many years of experience that will be of benefit to you. This is the final boarding crew. Wise choice. Oh, I don't get to say no. As a co-pilot, my first advice would be to upgrade your weapons. Smen's weapons are in should be better than what you currently be using. It would be wise to equip them before we encounter any further hostiles. Thanks Let's for the be reminder. On our way, then. Okay, what? Guilds, okay. Miners Guild. Access to mining ships? What are these? What are these ones? Bye. Thanks for stopping by. Sorry about the other game not working out. Peace out, home skillet. Crew. Well, she just assigned herself there. It's got like a p Mass Effect party system. I want a cooler ship. All different parts. Maybe I have to be near the ship. Access to looking for pilot system, access to freelance armory. I mean, I think that's really cool. Is she just gonna stay there?
Oh, now she's over here. Spooky. Oh my god, she's Neo. She stopped those bullets before they even hit her head. Hello? You can't just pop First, up like that. Open the services panel to manage your ship. To load weapons, open the weapon management section. Before starting, unload your old weapons by clicking on them on the left panel. On the right, weapons do not belong to a group when loaded. You have to group them yourself. Now add this weapon to fire group one. Is this the one I want? Uh, micro watch pulse. Now load the second weapon and add. Good. Now let's load the components on the ship. Just like the weapons, you can load the components by clicking on the cargo. But first, remove the old shield and hull components, then load the new ones. Plus 4,000 armor, jeez. Power system? Okay, I already did those though. Oh. And shield. Each ship's component oh, slots. I clicked are the wrong shield one. For example, this ship has weapon systems and aim component slots. These slots are hard to find on every ship. All set. Now close this panel with the exit button. Huh. What is this button? Oh, mission log? Okay. I, like, I, I really don't hate anything about this. It's a little clunky, but...
It's really hard to dislike any of it. Oh, I get uh, a skill. Damage booster. Sharpshooter. Cooler. Damage reflector or damage stacker. Oh. That's cool. I don't know. I feel like we can learn damage booster for now because it's kind of like a base. God, this game like almost has it. It almost has it. Is there no character model in the ship? That's kind of lame. That's kind of lame. Landing gear retracted. I mean, it's pretty cool. One thing they could work on that is like a big part of my adoration for a lot of space simulators is in-ship ambient noise. I feel like there's a little bit of a low rumble going on right now, and I like it. But I feel like the ship has to feel more alive when you're sitting in it. Engine module offline. Oh, I like the I like the drift. Engine module online. Oh, you can only drift for a so, certain amount of time, or what? What's up with that? Engine module online. Whoa. Go cloaked? 
Like, I also don't understand what this little blue box right here is for. Like, I want more info. I want the heads up to display to be gone. I want all of this info to be in the ship. And Elite, Elite Dangerous is like 50-50, right? Like, it's not perfect. Um, you know, they have communication kind of systems on the top. Very similar to these. But because these are like menus... Yeah. But because these are menus, I think that... Like, these can be on a ship panel. Um... I think all of the like space sims have just spoiled me with with that um diegetic information like you said. Deep Rock was a very good example of it, but the the ship dash in Elite Dangerous or Star Citizen all those things like display so much information even like um what is that like action roguelite I was playing the other day? Everspace two. If you go if you go out of the ship, you have this like full game HUD. But when you go into the ship and your view is from the cockpit, all of the like weapon information, um, gas, thrusters, all of that information is on the ship dashboard. Because that's where it would be if you were on the ship. Why does this keep... Oh, I have... level ups to do that's why cargo okay I love the tra the traveling is really good um the fact that there's a t oh my god the fact that there's a ton of systems to go to in this game is pretty crazy. I mean, we've been to, what, two of these? And we went to, like, ten different locations already? There's no music in this, though. Okay, chill. Okay, that's that. What the? What the heck menu is this? Oh, is this for the, like, rating? That's kind of cool. Yeah, I I like it. I I almost really like it. Um but you know, it's obviously really quirky and sort of janky. Oh, what is this? Ship 
me cargo crime. Crew contracts. Bounty board. Ooh, galaxy trading. Damn. This uh, this game has far more in it than needs to be in it, and yet I love them very much for doing it all. Um, I think this could be like a really fun. I want to say like almost um, a hobby game, like to just have fun and screw around. The fact that it's single player. Uh, it's a bit of a bummer. Would I love to have a few friends like join me and do some weird stuff? Yeah. Um, and have fun that way. But I also think that in the same vein that like cyberpunk has my attention, even though it's janky as hell, uh, Spaceborn 2 could to see me actually boot it up every now and then. Um, you know, we did a handful of missions. We got some space combat. We got some conversation. The only things we really didn't do is deal with the guilds or anything like that. Um, but I got a good vibe for what they're going for, and I think it's really neat. The few loading screens that we hit, the hyperspace travel, the planetary system entry is, is really good. Like, it was very quick. Um, yeah, the controls feel good I could do with a little bit more adjustability in the first person ship controls but then again I'm not I would normally probably use a, a joystick or a hotas for for a game like this I think it's it's more my speed getting comfortable with flying as a, a ship like that but doesn't feel very arcadey. Um, the ground combat felt okay, even though like the AIs were buggy and the hit markers and the death triggers were a little weird. Um, very, very buggy, but a lot of fun. Some personality. Um, I think in general, that's the thing it's kind of missing. It's just that flavor. It's missing that little bit of personality. It's just kind of generic space shit. Um, you know, the stuff you'd see in any in any sci-fi show or or comic book or book or whatever. Um, it's all there and it's just like kind of the barest version of it. I'm not sure if that just comes from the strengths of the dev team being somewhere else. Obviously, there's a lot packed into this game, so maybe they are more proficient at other things. The AI voices, yeah, obviously they didn't have uh, the time or the money to hire voice actors to do what I can only assume is thousands and thousands. Um, oh, it's one guy. Okay one person that's cool i knew it was like a, f a few at most it's just got that vibe that it's like made by a few people um but yeah one one person makes sense uh i i, I think the as much as the ai voices like make me chuckle i think it that adds a little bit of like character to it it almost feels like um he might have hired one more recently oh okay um, there's something about the voice acting being AI that kind of gives me that, uh, I don't know, Red Dwarf vibe where it's kind of a joke and it's kind of funny. Um, you know, I really enjoyed myself. I appreciate, uh, everyone that came out to hang out. I'm sorry we didn't get to play much of the Invincible. I'm glad we got to play some Spaceborne 2. If you're watching this later on YouTube, 
I would love it if you could subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get those numbers up as much as possible to gain access to more tools on the back end for creators. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you so much for dealing with uh, my game issues. And I had a lot of fun playing Spaceborne too. I, I'm a sci-fi space sim junkie and this kind of thing is just like the perfect little experiment for me to sit down and play. I appreciate the dev or devs for making it and I hope that um, when they come out of early access, I'm going to load it back up and check it out. I think there's a ton of potential here. I think there's a lot of notes that uh, the Starfield devs should be taking from a game like Spaceborne 2 that's trying to do a lot to prove a point. Um, yeah, I really like it. I'm excited for to play more space games. I'm excited for where this game is going. And again, th